Hello again. I'm back. It's been. Let's oh, put my microphone up a little here. Uh, it's been a super busy week, so I feel like it's been quite a while since I've had a chance to sit down and um, continue our journey through Vagrant Story. Um, I already feel a little bit rusty um, and and out of practice, so we'll see how we get back into it here. Um, thinking back to the last time we played, it was a pretty pretty good session with a lot of uh, progress. Um, I think we started off taking out the Earth Dragon in the Snowfly Forest uh, with sort of our new strats of having, <laughs> our simple new strats of having our PP actually maxed on our weapon. Um, and that worked out pretty well. Um, and the rest of the forest, I think, went pretty smoothly. There was another boss, I think uh, the human caster Grissom and the Headless Knight that he summoned, uh, Crusader, I think, or something it was called. Uh, that we fought with Sydney actually aiding us um, or not doing a whole lot, I guess. I don't know. I think he buffed us once or twice and mostly kind of stood there, but at least didn't attack us. Um, and there was a nice chest in that room, I think, after that fight. Uh, we stepped out and came back. I, for I forgot to pick it up at first. I think there were a couple nice things in there. Um, actually, one thing in particular that I'll, I'll get to in a second, there was a weapon there that actually turned out to be very nice. Um, and that was pretty much the end of the Snowfly Forest. Um, from there, I think we were able to loop back into, I think, inside the city walls, and then um, a one-way door there that took us back to the town center south? Town center, what? town center south, I think. Um, the second town center area we'd reached, I think, after emerging from the abandoned mines? Wow, I yeah, I should review, I guess, but um, it took us back basically to the entrance um, of the Undercity West. So maybe it was Town Center West then. Maybe that, that would make sense. Um, but at any rate, that's a really convenient loop back um, because in the Snowfly Forest, we picked up the Iron Key, Iron Key, uh, of which we found a number of doors for, specifically in Undercity West. And also thinking back um, to the first door we passed that we couldn't open was the abandoned mines, B1, I think. Um, so there might be some backtracking there um, at some point. Um, I think Undercity will probably be first on my list because there were a few doors there and it's very close. And we'll go from there. Um, the other direction, uh, when we don't loop back to the Undercity and Town Center, um, if we advance through the city walls, uh, we got to the Keep, uh, where we just fought Rosencrantz, and that is the last thing I think we did before stopping last time. Got some nice narrative again. Um, we definitely learned that he is playing both sides, sort of for his own gain, and also that he has um, a past with Ashley and um, Ashley's memory, I guess, um, as well as pretty much everyone around him, I suppose, isn't exactly reliable. Um, and that his um, regret from the death of his family or his memories of his family aren't entirely accurate. And um, it actually stems from, from something else uh, that he's sort of been a little bit brainwashed, I guess, by the VKP. Um, there's a lot of shades of gray here. Basically, all the factions seem to be sort of after after power. Um, in the case of the Crimson Blades and uh, Sydney and his followers, they're after sort of magical uh, that magical power of the city itself. Uh, the Grand Grimoire, uh, as we learned, um, the Cardinal and the Duke, uh, essentially the the same thing, um, and Parliament just in general, um, oppressing people using military force and power, um, subterfuge, sort of spy tactics, it sounds like. Uh, that's how they sort of employ their VKP soldiers and inquisitors. Um, we do have another exit uh, from the keep here. Um, actually, maybe that is what's Town Center South uh, and what's making me think of Town Center South. Because I think this goes to another town area, and that looked like kind of a, a tough area. Maybe um, the next area to move forward through. 
uh, after some backtracking, there were some pretty tough Crimson Blade human armored enemies there, maybe with some nice weapons to try to farm. Um, I haven't done a lot of that yet, but um, we will get there. Uh, and it's worth noting too, like as we backtrack toward the Ender City, there were a whole bunch of doors inside the city walls, all locked by sigils, which um, stirs a memory. I do remember that. Um, I don't remember the details, so we'll have to just find out what we discover as we continue to, to explore around. There was uh, one, at least one other door open to us though, and that seemed to take us um, underground again. Um, and I think uh, something indicated that was actually the start of the Iron Maiden area, which uh, I thought was maybe sort of more of an endgame thing or coming a little bit later uh, from my memory of decades ago. But if that's open to us, we can at least poke our head in there and see what we can see. Uh, and if there might be any nice items to pick up near the entrance that we could we could actually grab now or uh, or after we visit the Undercity. Probably most convenient to do it now. So let's get started here. Um, I have a little more to talk about in that um, just off stream here, before getting started, uh, there was a new workshop that we found. I'll run down here. So this is the area where we fought Rosencrantz. There's a chest here also locked by a, a key that I don't have yet. We'll have to keep our eyes open for that. But there's a uh, third workshop maybe that we've come across here that allows us to finally combine Hagane, Keen's Crafts. So that is awesome. And I dropped in here just a little bit before uh, starting up the stream to again kind of take a look at my items and weapons and combinations uh, without having to sort of go through all that trial and error, uh, just brute force combinations here. I should probably start looking up some information on that. There's some really great like facts and stuff out there for this game. Uh, very detailed and comprehensive, uh, probably because it's sort of a, a bit of a cult favorite game and um, isn't exactly a new release, so there's been lots of time for people to to figure it all out. Um, and so that might just help with some of the trial and error, because otherwise it just seems like trying combinations of things. It, it does seem, I mean, there are obviously rules to it. Um, and I've learned some of those that are sort of easy to pick up, like bronze and iron make Hagane. And what I learned today from my trial and error is that um, Hagane pretty much persists after being combined with anything, it seems like, uh, which is really nice because Hagane is the best material I've seen so far and has the highest stats for sure. So as you can see, maybe, um, if you remember from last time, I've been able to make some progress in, in combinations here. I don't imagine these items are all that powerful in the scheme of things, but um, definitely some advances, especially in, a partic in some particular areas. So I have my sword equipped here, which is probably my, my best weapon now. Um, and this came from the short sword that I had that I was focusing on beast and dragon. Uh, class class affinity or whatever class um, proficiency with um, to damage beasts and dragons and when I did the combination I did find I lost some dragon points um, I was okay with that and went ahead it wasn't it was maybe 10 10 points which didn't feel very drastic um, the score score on the short sword for dragon wasn't that high since the dragons tend to be bosses um, the ones I've come across so far except for those lizard men maybe um, and I kept the beast stat, uh, which was the most important to me probably in the highest, still only about 20 or something. Um, but I, I wanted to keep that and it seemed like I kept the highest stat. So that's something to keep in mind. And um, I kept the material, the Hagane as well. Uh, I forget, I think, so this is uh, from the area that I fought Grissom, uh, the human caster in the forest. That area had a chest that was visible during the cutscene. Uh, that I came back to get. And that chest had a weapon called Corpse something, I think. Uh, it was a sword. And I didn't really recognize it at the time because it had like that custom name. But that turned out to be um, a new sword blade that I hadn't seen before. I think called a, fer a Ferengi. Um, let me check my 
Frangie. Yeah, Frangie, just looking at my notes quickly. Um, and that combined with a short sword to make this blade. And it was more powerful than both. And the Ferengi, I think, was not Hagane, but the short sword was because it was a result of previous combination. So that resulted in a Hagane blade of this type, which was, yeah, quite a nice damage upgrade. I think my attack strength on this is 27 or something now, um, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, definitely a step up uh, and for a one-handed weapon as well. I also made good progress in the shield category after basically not having done anything with this the whole game. Um, I think maybe I'd combined once to make like a quad shield or something, but then in some recent area I picked up, or maybe a chest, I picked up I think a circle shield and I, was, I had a couple of quads a couple of circle shields or something and i was able to combine those in various ways to do like three upgrades um through this like a tower shield i think something else and then the round shields and that again also is uh, quite i think doubled my defense on the shield at least at least in strength um, maybe not in intelligence probably probably in intelligence too um, so that felt nice um, lagging behind a little bit are my arms, um, probably because I have two arms, so I need two pieces of armor. So one of these pieces is lagging behind quite a bit because most of the, the arm armors I've picked up have been used to combine uh, to make the gauntlet here, which I think is a one or two levels beyond the chain sleeve and also Hagane, so it's substantially stronger at 11 and 8 versus... Uh, eight and seven. Um, yeah, I guess not that huge a difference being arm armor and one piece of it. Uh, so I'm okay with this for now. And uh, there's not much else I can do. Um, for the head, body, and legs, I think there was one, maybe two upgrades for each of these. Um, so some nice additional damage points but nothing major. I think the leg was probably the most drastic, maybe two upgrades there. Um, the other weapons I've decided to carry for now, I've trimmed it down because I'm, I've been picking up a lot of stuff and running out of space. So I've kept the crossbow for long range. It's also piercing. If I, if I find I really, really need that, I don't really have any other good piercing weapons. Not that this is good, but I want the range for um, inflicting status at range if I ever need it. Uh, we have our hand axe, unchanged Hagane. It has very high human. Uh, this may have the gem. I think this probably has the gem in it right now, but this is basically my human weapon. And um, I think this might be a new staff, uh, maybe from that Grissom fight in the forest, because I think he dropped a, a stave. It has some pretty high natural dragon. Uh, but the main thing here is it's blunt and it has 12 attack strength which is as good as the blunt like mace i think mace or maul that i have right now um and it's it's got some diversity and that its intelligence attack for casting if i need it is also pretty high so um i'm, I'm hoping this will cover me for now i don't have i'm realizing right now i don't have a silver weapon with me um, and considering I'm headed back to the Undercity, that might be a smart addition to make. Um, but that's about it. Uh, otherwise, I've cleared all my extra stuff out. Um, yeah, so let me, before we get underway here, uh, grab the silver weapon if I still have it handy. I think that silver dagger that I have might actually be a good addition because that is also piercing. I think I disassembled it accidentally last time and forgot to reassemble it. So that is this guy. Natural, undead and phantom. Um, I also have some evil points here, which is interesting. I don't, maybe it started with that. I don't know. Oh, I got that. I think it's the silver staff that I was using to beat on the Dark Crusader with. 
its evil is lower, so that's that silver dagger must have done some work on evil somewhere. I'll just check my light affinity, which this also starts at, but I think I will take the dagger. Same. Yeah, so let's do that. Just in case, silver weapons are kind of um, specialized in that they're very, they start with some pretty high stats and certain things, but they're really only great, I guess, at taking on undead. Disappointed if I don't have another sword hilt that cross guard, I think. Yeah, there we go. So cross guard. Oh, I got a bunch of them. Yeah. So let's take one of these with at least one gem. We'll assemble that and take it with us. Oops. Wonderful load times. Got a nice bump in map coverage uh, on the save. I guess probably from running through the end of the forest, the city walls, the keep, etc. So I jumped up a good number of percent. I haven't been custom naming anything yet. I think that's kind of a cool feature. Helps keep track of things probably. Um, so I think that'll be fun in the future, but for now, it still seems kind of early or I don't have anything terribly special. I did repair everything. So actually I want to check how my PP is doing. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a bit reduced. I damage points look fine on everything though. So we'll just have to build that up again a little bit. And we'll start our way back. We'll see how things go. Um, I, I think I have at least a couple hours here. It's been, like I say, like a super long week, I'm sure for all of you as well. And with all the you know craziness going on in the world uh, in general, I've just been definitely a little tired out and haven't had a chance to sit down with a good chunk of time for this. Um, so while I wasn't sure, you know, feeling kind of tired, it was the best day for it. Um, I have some errands to do and it's just kind of the weather outside isn't really cooperating um, at least for the next couple hours I think so I'm hoping that'll clear off but I thought I'd make use of this time and we'll see what progress we can get Chain arts here. I want my paralysis, my very useful. I do have it. I guess that I think the red one is just immune. This guy looks like he has a circle shield as well. So we'll just take these guys out of the fight. I really like how this game is, it's it's really very much still a tactics game, kind of like, you know, Matsuna's other stuff. 
um, like Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre, Final Fantasy XII. Um, but it's kind of like a single player version of it, which I don't know if I've really ever experienced anywhere else. I'm sure there are things, but. Feeling that damage upgrade already. Ooh. New spear. Oh, blunt though. Interesting. We'll see if that combines. That should combine probably with one of the. I think we have a spear blade and a glaive blade. I imagine it may combine with one of those because I haven't. I haven't made any new spears. Getting those dragon points. Stick to the single attacks. Nice. Wow, it's like four dragon from just beating on that guy. I guess this guy can't do anything at the moment because he's para parried. Where are you going? Should have temper as well, I think. Oh, he's dead. See how that PP is doing. And maxed again already, nice. So with that maxed, as we continue using it, the goal will be, oh, I don't have temper on, let's switch that. Uh, will be to keep up the DP. We have a door here. I don't think this is a sigil door. That's uh, a one-way door. Okay. I don't recognize the shield this thing has, but I have a feeling it's probably just... That was not the right counter. I have a feeling it's probably just like a basic shield or something. I didn't even notice if that was a red, red one. So if I ever need to farm some dragon class points, this seems like a good place to do it. Yikes. That's the highest damage I've ever done in one hit. Yeah, so this is, I think... That's, I think, the way back to... Let's, let's poke our head in just to make sure. I think this is the way back to Undercity. Town Center West? Yep, Town Center West. So that takes us back to the abandoned mines as well. So that might actually be a pretty quick trip back there to try to check the, the bronze key, iron key, iron key door there. And if we continue farther, we're going to end up back at the forest entrance. I was looking for that door down that goes down underground again. So these guys are also building fire, which, uh, ooh. That's probably actually kind of a nice pickup, maybe. Might be useful. Combines some of those, like, not bottom tier armors, but like tier one or tier two um, are nice pickups because they combined with a, a number of, like, later tiers to, to make new things, it seemed like. That's what happened with the shield, anyway.
I'm just going to pause for a second, take a drink. So I think um, this door, being the end of the line here, must lead back to the forest. So I must have gone by the, yeah, the door that I was really looking for there. Oh, interesting. That was a very quick respawn. I've been wondering what causes the enemies to respawn. Um, generally, it seemed to be like a certain amount of time or... Um, or moving away a certain distance, but maybe it's actually just like leaving the area. Or at least that's one thing that can do it. Because obviously there I was one room away, so that makes this very farmable area. Another potentially nice pickup, maybe, for a combination. I think I'm only one, maybe two tiers of helmet past that, so maybe, maybe not useful, but... Pretty, pretty high crit as well, it seems. My risk isn't that high. So that's back there. Really, I must have just not been paying attention at all. Not great. I think I've probably gotten my my 10 dragon that I lost from the combination back for sure. Which uh, doesn't matter really that much, but it's nice. Boy. Um, cause these guys are just going to respawn again. You know what? I'm just going to bail. Take a hit for it. Wow, and again, like immediate respawn. Unless, no, this was locked before. Since we're here, um, and since I must have gone past that amidst, amongst all the sigil doors back a while and just completely missed it, I'll come back to that um, in the interest of like not having to grind through those guys one direction, then back another direction, and then back again <laughs> to get back here after 
going to that underground area. And I assume I have my gem. Yep. Being a town area, it's heavier in human populations. So let's switch back to that. Uh, I actually am doing fire damage. That might actually be good against some of these guys, but yeah. And I, yeah, I'm noticing the defensive upgrade as well. It's just uh, solid. At least against these guys that are, I'm basically beyond at this point, I guess. Maybe nice, maybe nice. I haven't been able to upgrade a mace or an axe for some time. A mace would actually be really nice for, for higher blunt damage. I am disoriented. Ah, right. That's how I get in there. That's the entrance to Outer City, basically. And so, let's see if I remember. Yeah, 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 I remember this. Root inverse door. Yeah, if the Iron Maiden isn't behind that, I'm not sure what is, or maybe it's another part of it, but. doing less to these guys. I think some of them are weakest to blunt. Oops. Oh, just missed it. All right, I'm gonna come over here. Oh, geez, am I gonna fall? Where am I? Damage is fine. I could degenerate this guy. I think he's got strength up. Well, and that's fine. We'll just take the opportunity to beat on him. He might even heal. Yep. I wonder if it's actually disadvantageous to have the human gem equipped here because you do seem to gain less class and affinity points the higher your score is so if it counts the gem score that's being added against that that might be bad but uh whatever awesome and we're very quickly back to where we first emerged from Oh, actually, this is not where I want to be. Where do I want to be? This goes back to the Sanctum. That's all the way back to the opening areas. Actually, while I am here, though... There's a workshop over here that lets me combine leather, I think? close, so let's check anyway. Oops. I'm attacking the same guy. Because I do have some leather items that... Actually, no, that's going to be... I think that'll be pretty useless, actually. Let's just continue on. Because uh, if I can't combine Hagane here, which I don't think I can, I need a workshop that does Hagane and leather for that to be beneficial. And I haven't found one of those yet. I 
I should be tempering. So we'll cross over here. I think it's up here on the left across the channel that leads to the abandoned mine. I was thinking of the wrong, wrong entrance. So it's coming back to me. I guess things are coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and save here. Because it's always a good idea. It is cool how interconnected this game is. Uh, it doesn't take place over a huge area, I guess, just this t city. Um, did I just miss it again? Yeah, here. Um, but it, that's not something I remembered about it explicitly, I guess. But that's it's something I really love about like the Souls games, which are some of my favorite games in the last decade or whatever. I Unsurprisingly, maybe, like, there are similarities and stuff, but... This guy is a beast, but I'm gonna see if I can... Oh, there's actually two beasts here. I should change weapon, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, the interconnectedness of that. That was a, such a cool experience, especially at first in the Dark Souls games. Or Souls games. I mean, Demon Souls was certainly my first um, and still one of my favorites in some ways and this actually has that trait as well which yeah I didn't really remember and you can see there are other other setups for it elsewhere you know like in the city walls area there there was another one-way door that once we you know go through town center south or something maybe somewhere else we will come back through there or something and that'll be pretty neat and give us quick access back to these areas. Oof. Take that. Yeah, that's so cool too. It's uh, because there's not there aren't strict levels, right? Like I'm not leveling up exactly. I'm just getting like better stuff through combination, through exploration. Uh, but you definitely definitely feel it. Now where am I? Where am I going in this area? Oh, it was the silver key. Wow, I am. Uh, Definitely a little rusty, I guess, for getting some of these details. Let's step through the rest of this. So I guess the iron key doors were all in... Undercity. So... My mistake. A little more running around. Actually, have to loop around. Oh no! You got me. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna forget these guys. Check out my new shield. Yeah, so I could have. I just took the wrong exit from that other, that other area. Oh, 
Um, all right. These guys are actually weak to darkness. Another battle axe, okay, okay. I will take it. Oof. Yeah, in this area there was a cutscene set here with um, Merlos. Have we seen her since then? I don't remember. Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> There's a door there. Um, I'm just going to take a look here, try to remember where things are. This is the silver key as well. I'm, I really better. Yeah, there's an iron key and another. Okay. So maybe are, there aren't as, and that's a silver key too. So only two doors. Okay. So I was definitely misremembering which keys were which here, or which doors were locked, and that they were locked by different keys. We've got a couple ways to explore here. This is back to the forest. So let's see. Uh, this looks like a crossroads area. So let's check this one first. Taking a look at my notes. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to do here. So we're going to have undead in this area. So let's swap over to that. this thing is actually hitting fire, this would be, oh, it's not physical, bumped up quite a bit, so. Yeah, this guy's got a nice looking shield. I never did get one. I don't really need to be fighting these guys either. Leather, though. Mm. 
This guy has a crossbow. I still have basically a starting game crossbow. Light and undead. Another potentially useful crafting uh, component. And a, not sure about that. One. So this is where we fought the crab, giant crab originally. Now we come to the quintessential Summer's Way area. So yeah, Straight North is locked. That's probably entrance to another area. Just dunk on these guys real quick. If I don't miss my chains. Ooh, interesting. So I guess that means that the Grimoires aren't all just provided through story progression. Drop chance seems suddenly higher as well. Now is this, this is the way to the forest. Yes. What? Don't tell me. I have a bronze key, not an iron key. Wow. <laughs> well, does that mean I have anything I can do here? Ugh. How did I... Iron is better than bronze, so yeah, bronze is the first one, I guess, that I would get. Yikes. Can I look at other areas here? I can. Oh look, Iron Maiden B1. So that is indeed the Iron Maiden. I can find it. So I'm just wondering if there is anything else that was logged. I don't remember. Oops. Um anything in these earlier areas that I wasn't really able to get to. Does it tell me it's a workshop? It doesn't tell me what I can combine there. Yeah, so I guess we have not found a use for the bronze key yet and I am just confusing them. Chest key, bronze key, silver key, iron key. Two 
leave city walls south. What? City walls south? Ah, I see. So it's the first room after the sigils, or before the sigils, with the gold key door. I don't know. I just spaced out on this one, I guess, when I passed through it before. West. All oh, right. Yeah, this is way back at the start. The other entrance to the abandoned mines, I guess. Okay, well, that was, um, this has been unfortunate. I apologize. I am just not remembering things, clearly. I think I, it's not even that. I think I just uh, confused the names because I remember after, after getting that key last week even, I was like, oh great, now I can go backtrack to this and this and whatever, and that's what I'm remembering now, but it wasn't right in the first place. So we'll head back to Town Center West here, and just get back to the keep. We'll pass by the Iron Maidens, so we can check that out. Still can't open that. So third room. I 
guess I don't necessarily need to fight these guys. Ouch. All right, let's, let's fight. Let's do it. That's a, That was quite a bit more damage. I wonder if that was because I didn't have my weapons out, like basically my shield. Scorpion. This is going to feel a little sketchy actually dropping into the Iron Maiden because if I just happen upon a boss or something, I mean, it's not like I've had a lot of progress here or anything, so I guess it doesn't matter if I tank tank it. Um, I have gained some, you know, some weapon points and kills and stuff, but those are always easy enough to get back, I suppose, if I really need it. Right away, some new enemies. Damage is okay on this. Um, I should be using another weapon though, but I'm not going to miss this attack opportunity. These guys might actually be beasts. Oh, another evil. So evil is with undead. It's a pretty low hit chance, but. Stop me from using arts, that's fine. Silence maybe is a problem if I need to heal. This is also my phantom weapon though, so there we go. So we should get silenced again. Oh! Unseals a door in town center south. Town center south is the area beyond the keep that we're going to go next. That's actually really good that uh, I poked my head in here. I guess, you know, general tenant of the game is to do that. Explore where you can explore. Maybe I want to analyze these guys. Oh, I'm silenced. Okay, if you're just gonna like do this, what I'm gonna sit back here and just like have my silence go away. Oh, you don't have that much HP. High evasion, I guess. Or agility, high agility. Yeah, let's go. This is just locked immediately. T-Rose 
Rose Sigil. Not something I've seen, I don't think. So, I guess, yeah. Well, I wasted a lot of time running around there. But uh, I made the right call here to at least stop in, make sure I got that item. Immediately blocked, unfortunately. Um, but that looks like it will be useful in the next area, so very good I uh, have that. And I don't know if I've overlooked the T-Rose sigil somewhere already or haven't gotten there yet. Hopefully the latter. So, uh, after thinking there are quite a few ways to progress here, or at least explore, turns out pretty much this one. And I need my human weapon, which unfortunately is actually one of my weaker ones strength-wise. I mean, 12, 12 strength less, that's pretty significant in this game. Ooh, I wonder actually if I should clear out my inventory as well, but I can deconstruct all of these things. So. <sighs> we'll see if we regret that. Did I even change my weapon? So yeah, that's a good reminder that uh, because my weapon is a little bit weak here, spells like Degenerate and Prostasia are going to be our friends, if my damage is a little low. Uh, but it's not really, at least not against this guy. Edged and fire combination looking good. Kind of mace. Do I get it? Oh, well, the gauntlet is potentially nice. Tower shield is maybe nice too for combination, but they're below all my current. Can I dispel? I have an item that can dispel basically, but I don't want to use it. Let's just go at him. Where is he? Is he? He's like running away from me. Seriously. Yeah. So I think, um, which one of these is going to be most beneficial? He buffed his strength, so Degenerate will do away with that. But I don't really care about his damage, because I can just para him. But I don't have anything to counteract Prestasia directly. 
Now he's just going to cast this again. So I want to switch instead of paralysis, I'll do silence. Make sure he can't do that. So he can attack me. His damage is pretty lame. I'm actually not doing much damage. So I could reveal his weak points by basically attacking him a bunch. And I'll just prestasi myself to up my damage and hope that I can get maybe something. A new axe or something soon that will do a little more here. Living up to its name as town center, I guess. We have a number of exits here. Um, I know this one is in the back. Don't see anything to pick up, really, so let's just uh, choose a direction. Stay back and out of range of this crossbow guy. Let's see if we can just. Uh... What? Really? Ooh, that guy's got an axe. silence but can't heal my damage Let's see how this alone does Not a ton of HP. So my risk is getting a bit higher for the hit percent. Ooh, iron. Ooh, it's iron though. Interesting. So if I actually get drops that are above what I have, which I assume this is, I haven't seen the name before. Wow, my armor is actually full too. I, I need to... Maybe need to go back and drop stuff off. I didn't realize. I guess I was picking up a lot of pieces. Oh, this is blunt though. Do 
to heal at high risk. I'm just, I'm really close to, uh, like, the workshop there to dump all these materials. I'm kind of tempted to go do that because if these guys are dropping, like, useful things... I had almost no armor with me. I'll just try to run back through these areas. I don't need to fight them again, really. So, kind of a slow, slow session here. Um, still got some time left. The weather here is still looking a little off-putting, so... six slots taken up by just the stuff you're wearing. I guess things do fill up quickly. Since most enemies have armor, you're going to get a lot more armor drops than, than weapons, probably. the sheath here and not do that. There we go. We might have to fight through the second room of these guys, although Paralysis is our friend. So they do seem to respawn if I exit the area, at least, so that's a good bit of information to have for possible farming. Seriously. I don't want to kill this guy actually because he's got a one-handed axe. I'm gonna take a hit from this guy. This guy's got a crossbow, why not? Kill him. Really? Oh, jeez. Didn't realize I dropped a combo there. Nice. Oh, we already got this. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> well, we'll get another one. It's pretty high drop percentage, baby, or we're getting lucky, I guess. Water defense, MP gain, potentially nice, light affinity damage, dark affinity, oh, there's just so many of these, very situational, 
Good for growing PP, but PP grows pretty fast anyway. Haven't really had a problem with that. I think we do this one. Finally, we get the synergy with the, that other one if we're taking a lot of damage. We can chain a lot. All right, this guy's going to be a jerk. Um, Mandrake Sigil. Uh, that's the one we just picked up. Okay, so this is a different, oh, chest. This is a different area. Let's find out what area. Bound by magic, I can, do it. I can deal with this. Okay, cast silence. Sure, maybe not that useful considering I have the chain ability. Maybe better range. Oh, there's another chest up there. Still says I'm in town center south. Uh, oh, I see. So this isn't actually a different area. So maybe that's not, that sigil wasn't for progress, but it was for items. It does look like there's another exit here, so let's see. And that wasn't actually a chest that I saw up here. Way to go. Okay, this looks like a transition, maybe. Or not. Volnak. chain going on the crit. Yeah. Or not. This guy looks like he has some sort of interesting weapon. Oh, okay, that's maybe a spell that I need. Is that? That might actually be the helm I'm wearing in bronze um, versus Hagane, but that could be useful. 
Okay, so there's a door. So not a direction that we're familiar with. We need to enter here from the east. This place is just swarming with crimson blades. Um, this is blocked. Oops. I didn't entirely catch that. I think it said there's no one to open it or it's not opening. Ah, but there is a door here. Okay, city walls. It's cool too how the areas um, are kind of like understandable and like like the architecture of the city kind of makes sense. Like the under areas, the walls, inside the walls. Train and grow strong. Interesting name. Oh, I wonder... I wonder if these inverse doors are actually to like workshops or training or something. Since I'm here, I'm definitely going to map this out. But there's plenty of exploration in the um, south town there to still do. Yeah, this dude's undead. Keep this going after that. Yeah. This dude have a shield. Oh, interesting. So those are the boots I was able to make in bronze, which is worse. Breastplate is also what I have for for chest armor, I think. Actually, breastplate. Maybe it's a step up, but it's in iron. So those are two breastplates that I've. I've picked up here, so if the bronze and the iron of those could combine into Pagane something good, that'd be nice, but maybe wishful thinking. Yeah, what shield do you have? Actually, be great if I could assemble. I have one hilt that's on my Shamshir. Shamshir? Sham, whatever. Um, that has two gem slots. So it'd be great if I could have Undead and Braveheart on this weapon if these guys are going to be hard to hit. Ooh! Is this the other door to town center west? Or to the other city walls? Let's find out where I am. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That's weird. These are these areas are like right next to each other. Yeah, it looks like this area I can see the exit since I visited it, so I need to come from the other direction here. 
Maybe I can get that gate open, or... That gate doesn't really seem to block a whole lot if I can just go around, but I guess we'll find out. Um... I might just hit this guy, because I just want him to go away. Yep. Okay, now I exit. Quickly. These guys are back because of the area change. That's fine. Oh, this guy's got a giant hammer. It's a two-hander. Let's just keep it going. Low hit chance, so if I land it. Two of these caster guys. In. I would like to figure out here how the DP works, like what temper actually gets me back for that. Should I do it just once per enemy to basically maintain DP, or what? Or it may be unavoidable. Ooh, actually, yeah, that's pretty low. So 75, we'll check it after the next one. Ooh, beasts, okay. Change it up. Actually, no. These are gargoyles. Oh, I didn't, uh... didn't reduce my risk, which is a little dangerous. Let's see if... Oh, nice. But that hit chance, yike. Roll the dice. Nice. Yeah, that is pretty low. Do I have a spell to... I can raise agility, not lower it. Let's do this. It'll be useful against both. My damage is actually okay. It's really the hit chance that... That isn't great. These guys aren't very aggressive either. Oh man. 27%. They're mostly just ignoring... So that means this thing is a different type of thing than the other thing. Not very good rolls, come on. Oh, four in a row, that's amazing. Wow. like six in a row when I should be hitting like one out of two or three. It's terrible. Well, it is low. I wonder 
how do um, rate guards work? It actually does blunt damage. Yeah, it still has like the same chance to hit. I don't see much point in that. Ugh. Crossbow would be nice against these guys. I don't see why they get more range than I do when they're flying around. That guy should be down. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. I'm gonna have to brave heart, I think. It's likely, those guys aren't even undead, they're evils, so I'm not getting the benefit of the small undead gem bonus anyway. So let's switch it up to Braveheart. 20% more accuracy. Man, I thought the weather was supposed to be clearing up here, but it really doesn't look like it's going to. Um, what did I save last? I'm just going to let my MP regen here. This looks like a boss. It looks like Underdark Fish Market or whatever it's called, where I fought the crab. It's not. It's going to be Undercity South. It is Undercity West. Just the other end of it. Yep. We got Dark Elemental. Okay, nice. Well, I have my light dagger. So unsurprisingly, his strength is actually high, so I would have expected a caster. Very weak to light, and edge... Oh, that's unfortunate. This might take some beat beating on him to, to do much damage with that piercing. Spells or chain abilities for. Uh oh. Ooh, ouch. Yes, that kind of hurt. Okay, well, it's not zero. <laughs> like high chain defense. Not invincible though. Ah, there you go. This could be quite useful. Yes. Let's hope he doesn't kill me. <laughs> That's 
nice. I need to heal. And dead. Oh, that was right on. Come on. I think I'm dead. Not dead. Um, I need to put my fire defense chain art on. Maybe that will help. Either that or it's just physical. It's fire or physical. Oh, I should use some of my elixirs. <laughs> Arrow guard is not useful. Ooh, this is useful. No, no, no. Yeah. Nice. Now I can't heal. I can't heal a spell. And that costs some MP, but it should get me. There's all the secret. I want cure. Potion. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Keep my risk low and do damage with this. His head is probably... Because this way I'm doing blunt, which is bypassing his piercing resistance, but I'm doing it with my light weapon and it's costing me 25 HP, like I can just spam this. Probably can't cast that again. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, chain. Let's see if I can regain. I'm sure he's immune to silence. So this would gain me if I land. Twenty-one, so I need to hit twice more with it unless I hit this. Fine, waste a turn. Heal after this one. Oh, what? That was pretty satisfying. Had some options. I understood kind of what I needed to do to try to get better damage, even though my best weapon in most respects was the weakest damage type against him. Strength would have been better, I think. Catlea Sigil and the Meteor Spell, okay. And seals the door in Town Center East. We haven't been Town Center East. But if this area is basically runs underneath the whole city, 
makes sense there might be an exit here uh, I would like to save Oh boy, what is this? So, save point, but nasty. A dark eye. So in areas like this, I am finding I'm, I'm definitely switching weapons less. Like, that's fine, that's MP. Ooh, interesting, okay. Oh, come on. 64%. Give me a break. Oh, he hit, he hit his own guy. Uh, yeah, I could focus on these guys. Much higher hit percent. Let's do it. Oh. Interesting. I thought I was attacking the skeleton. Clearly didn't scan all my targets on the dark eye initially. Alright, his movement is F. Oh, he's dead. Wow, these guys are just falling over. Mostly. Hmm. I think I have not seen that glove before, so that might help me catch up there. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the... This isn't the Sunless Way, is it? It can't be. That, um... That door was locked by... Iron Key? Yeah, this is a different area. Sunless Way is over here. So this... So if I'm moving to the north, it looks like I'm going to link up with this silver key door, which I assume I can't just open from the other side. So I should probably go east-west here first, see what's up. Let me check my... Yeah, it's fine. My MP's fine. My HP's fine. So I'll heal. Or I'll save. Let's go this way. Yeah, I don't... How did... This, this thing doesn't even have legs. Didn't I strike at legs before? Did I, like, strike at that skeleton and then this thing got in the way? That's pretty crazy. That is. Whoa! That was actually some serious MP gain. Yeah, and that's that's annoying. Um, so I can make them. I don't know what kind of attack that was. It's not any of these, I don't think. If anything, it was like ice or just dark. So I can reflect. Let's remember that. If I do get hit. And for chain, let's go to stun. Or uh, silent, rather. Perfect. Um...
So if they're basically immune to that... Oh, that guy's got a nice axe. Yeah, they do not have much HP, which is great. That's 50 that's 50 percent to hit those guys with Braveheart so they clearly just have like high agility gotta hit him again though oh nice <sighs> yeah so magic word is nice they can dispel it but it causes them to you know, have to do that. Is this silver key? Gold key. Um, it causes them to waste a turn to have to do that. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be silver key. I went this way. Um, they seemed probably immune to silence. Maybe they drop a Guimar to cast whatever spell they cast. That, that'd be sweet. Um, but yeah, what I can do is just magic ward, gain magic. I could even like, if I'm not chaining, this heavy shot actually isn't doing me any good. So let's gain magic and temper and silence. Probably para actually, cause I'm not going to be able to silence them. So I para anybody else. got the right weapon. I need hit chance, though, not... That's good. Let's keep our risk low. 77 isn't bad. Yeah, as long as I keep my risk low with Braveheart, it's not too painful. Um, damn, yeah, I guess that is one bad thing about this magic word thing. I cannot heal. Oh no, did I just walk into another boss? No, I didn't. Okay, phew. Abandoned Mines B2, interesting. Do I want to go this way, or... would be curious if this is like another abandoned mines is going to be like a whole thing i would like to at least map out the other areas maybe but then i'm going to respawn respawn these guys Dagger break art. It really, really, I wonder how many, that didn't seem like it took me that many kills. My HP is a little low for this, but I don't want to, I don't want to have to recast the magic war that's going to be useful in this room. I could have chained there, but it was risky. Dude has something on his right arm that I want. No 
Nope. Should take this opportunity to heal. like a slow shot. Wow, that's super annoying that he just like runs away. I got my little dagger. Can't do anything about it. <sighs> really? Hagane Breastplate. That is a straight upgrade, I think. I guess I can just check. <laughs> if I'm wearing a breastplate, then no, but I'm definitely not wearing higher than a breastplate. Yeah, that's a straight upgrade. Nice. I guess I should wear it. That is better as well. It's not going to be better. So 11, 8, 10, 8, but in iron. So I think Vembrace is definitely like the step above Gauntlet, I think. That's cool. It would actually be pretty fun to do like a, like a caster run of this, although I just think it would feel really slow, probably. Although the spells generally do, like, a fair bit of damage, I suppose. I have quite a bit of spells I need to learn. Exorcism. That's like a kill? Insta-kill? Dead are generally weak to fire. Uh, tarnish, there you go. That's the counter for Prostasia, I guess. I do have Earth Affinity on my weapon as well. Nice. Uh, arrow Guard. Wow, I have a lot of these in it to learn. And HP Elixir. But I'm going to hold on to this. Wait, was that four of those? No, two. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to to those for the moment. Not waste time with it here while I have uh, have some time. So it's water. This guy first. Okay, did he just get in the way again? He's got my shield. So now this dark eye. He's going to get another cast off probably, so let's get our water defense up, which I don't have. This should do some damage. Oh, it's a little hit chance though. fine. Yeah, 
guys. This is a silver key door. Makes sense. Oh, you're back. Ah, uh, this is Terra. Can't do anything. Oh, actually, no, it's physical. I can do something nice. Well, I guess that's their gimmick. Numbness makes you walk slow as well. <laughs> How annoying. Literally cannot get close to them. Spell cast. Wonder if I should just try the crossbow on them. See how effective it is. Because the dagger is not great. Literally, they are a flying above any possible weapon range. Wow. Yeah, not anymore, but look at that damage. Do I, what chain do I have? All they have to do is like go away from a box that I can stand on now. See if I, what, really? See if he comes in now. Yeah, okay, I need to silence. That's slightly annoying. Because now, like, I can't do any damage with this. It means I should probably try to silence both of them. Wow, 43? Why? That's literally like four times. Why, why is my chain not happening? I think I'm having some sort of controller issue. Like, my controller keeps disconnecting and reconnecting, which is unusual. And I missed my opportunity there. Yeah, it's like, okay, please. This is amazing. I mean, these guys have been annoying, but it's just not registering my, my chain at all. Yeah, it's just, that's weird. There we go. Okay, I, I, don't know to, I don't know what to say about this. I'd like to get that chest, so I would like to take these guys out at least once. I just lost my shield because of the dual wield. Before I can even trigger. Ugh, and I can't even get them before they run away. Wow, and I'm at 31 HP. This is unbelievable. I'm getting really 
really good heal on, uh, on this for some reason. Can I just... Does this have more? Oh, it does. Hell yeah. It's not a ton of damage, though. Pretty low hit chance. Okay, fine. Stay there. Holy cow. One-handed? Yes! A one-handed Hagane Mace! Amazing! Spike Shield, Sally. That's quite a haul. This is worse than my shield, but might be useful for crafting. I'm not sure. This might be better than my helm. Which means I just waste... Oh, it's the same. Same. So probably useful for crafting. And this is a dead end. So screw you guys. I am just out of here. Yeah. One last spell just to annoy me. Go for it. 40 damage and yeah, I'm a numbness. I don't understand the calculation on that. Yeah, I was going to say that was in a different area, so I didn't expect... Uh, enemies to respawn. So we've mapped this out at least. So I guess abandoned mines is it. Unless we go back up to the town. That actually might be interesting. Um, rather than like diving into a whole other area. So let's save. I'm about out of the time I think I planned for originally. Um, but I'm a little unsure what the uh, weather is like out there. Okay, while this is saving, I'm just going to uh, take a little break, stand up, uh, get some water, check the weather here, and see where we go from here. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, everyone, um, I'm back. I 
think I'm gonna have to take off and, and just brave the the weather how it is here. It's looking like it's clearing off a little and I'm just like pretty much out of food and supplies so I need to make a run before it gets too late. Um, but this has been fun. Um, maybe I'll be back a little bit later tonight um, for another part. Um, the weekend is kind of when I have the most time to, to do this so um, yeah I'll see see how things look when I get back. Um, some okay progress, at least we know where we're going now. Uh, kind of a bit of running around and wasting some time, but we got some, some drops out of it, uh, I guess, to go along with our most recent upgrades. So next time, um, I think I'll take uh, maybe one more quick look around the town center south above, above the Undercity here. Um, although that would uh, mean I'd have to backtrack uh, down here to the Undercity and to the Abandoned Mines B2, uh, which I obviously need to go through. So uh, I just like to kind of explore the full area of that town and see what's there. Maybe there's another workshop or something. Um, so I'll probably do that next time, and hopefully that'll be pretty soon, sooner than uh, the gap between parts 6 and 7. Catch you guys then.